The Tennessee Titans made one of the most talked about moves in the draft when they traded AJ Brown to the Eagles for a first round pick and then immediately selected a guy whose NFL comparison was well, AJ Brown, and that guy was Traylon Burks out of Arkansas. But was this the right move? I think for the Eagles, it's a resounding yes. But is AJ Brown replaceable on this Titans offense? Is Traylon Burks the answer? Are they even as similar as we think? Some people are on one side or the other because we've seen this going with the cheaper option method workout recently when the Vikings traded away Stephon Diggs, who was wildly talented for draft picks, and then they immediately got Justin Jefferson, who is also wildly talented talented and much cheaper. But we've also seen teams try to save money but not be able to find the replacement for years and years. Well, in today's video, we're going to look at some film of Traylon Burks, but also AJ Brown to see what shoes he's going to have to fill in this Titans offense. And we're going to look at where they're similar, but also point out what AJ Brown can do that Burks can't and vice versa. And quickly, one, yes, we won't know until we see them play, but it's a long off season. And I want to be on the record beforehand with what I think and if you agree you can steal all of these talking points too because I haven't seen anything that sufficiently answers this question in my eyes and two I know he couldn't finish the first practice because of heat or intensity or whatever but we have to see through all of this and just look at the film I was on the record last preseason when Jamar Chase was dropping everything and still said he'd have a better rookie season than Justin Jefferson there's obviously a lot to go over so let's get into the film to see what the truth of the situation actually is is. So I can absolutely see why these guys were being compared to each other pre-draft. They're similar height, weight, similar 40 time, even though AJ Brown's a slight faster. They both played majority slot in the SEC, but are both big enough and fast enough to play on the outside and have that versatility. So how this film breakdown is going to be structured, first we're going to see where Traylon Burks is best at and why he was worth the first round pick. Then we're going to see what AJ Brown was asked to do in Tennessee in this Titans offense. And from that, we'll be able to talk about where they're similar and where they're stronger and weaker compared to each other because I think it's a good draft comparison but draft comparisons aren't usually taken this seriously because you usually don't replace your exact comparison so I think being labeled AJ Brown 2.0 is too lazy of a way for us to look at it because I think their grades are different enough to warrant this discussion. And when we start to look at what makes Traylon Burke so good, it's what actually differentiates himself from AJ Brown. So this is going to be an RPO. The design run is going to be the left. Traylon Burks is going to be split out to the right on a now route, just looking at the ball. And usually on an RPO like this, you're reading numbers. Whether there's three receivers and only two defenders, you're just going to flip it out and play the numbers game. But they're actually reading space on this. They have off coverage, and that's what they want. And I can say I've seen this in high school. You don't see it too much in college. Definitely not as much as the NFL. NFL, but this is where Traylon Burks is so good because once he catches the ball the closest red jersey to him is on the sidelines or in the stands but this is where he had 15 broken tackles 9.3 yards with run after catch which was fourth in the nation he runs like a running back when he gets the ball and he is so elusive he's a big body he runs with purpose and this is what makes him so good and I'm going to show you an example in a little bit of how this can be utilized in Tennessee's offense but just to show you that it's not a fluke, if we look to the top of your screen, again, they're just reading space, getting it out to him. He stumbles, still going to be too big for the DB, and this is why he's big enough to play on the outside. But this happened enough, so now let's look at a play where Tennessee ran that we can start to see where he's going to be able to be utilized. And now we can start to be creative. This is actually a play we're going to be looking at A.J. Brown later, but this is just a formation so we know that the Tennessee Titans run this. And this is a staple play for every team in the NFL. This tight end where it's going to be... We we have Derrick Henry on a play action, and this tight end leaks in the flats. Ryan Tannehill will do a play action, dump it out to the flats, spider two wide bananas of some sort of variation of that. But instead of this tight end, let's say this is Traylon Burks as a tight split slot receiver and kind of playing a pseudo tight end. If we get him running this route, now we have a faster, more agile, and this is where we really get to see his strengths come out. And so instead of this play, the tight end's going to block. But if we had him releasing out into the flats, there's going to be no one out there. And the first person to reach him more than likely is not going to tackle him. 
And I would say the next best thing that Traylon Burks is best at is his ability to come down with contested catches and be a legitimate 50-50 jump ball threat. Here he is at the top of your screen. Again, comfortable playing on the outside. He ran a 4-5-5, so if they're press man, he's not going to be a guy to just like runs right by you. But he does have some of the largest hands at the wide receiver position in the entire NFL now. And so when you can just be able to toss it up to him, he has great timing, timing the ball in the air. He has a great high point, and if it hits his hand, more than likely it's not coming out even with contact with the DB he's going to bring this down and this is a massive weapon to have on your team and it's something that AJ Brown had but not gonna bring to this level and if we see the chains right now they're not even fully caught up the cameraman can't even catch the snap of the ball and if we saw where that last play ended it was around the 38 yard line so yes first and 10 very next play they like this matchup it's definitely no fluke that he's being able to do this they're able to go right back to it because why not quarterback just puts it up put it close to him he's gonna get great position time the ball at the high point and with those big mitts come down with it. And to elaborate more on his speed, he doesn't have blazing track speed where you can just run a go route against press man, but what he really is good at is using his image. He's not the best at making these 90 degree cuts in and out. This is something I'd really like to see him work at, but in the slot, he can use his image when he knows that there's not going to be a ton of help. This nickel corner knows that and he knows that. So he's going to use his image to attack this. The nickel corner is going to bite and he's fast enough to be able to capitalize on that and score touchdowns. And if he wasn't making a contested catch, or a jump ball down the field he was usually able to get the corner off balance or just misjudge or guess at what he was going to do and he was fast enough to always capitalize on it but now let's start to talk about what different aj brown from Traylon burks and what aj brown is better at here he is in the slot and again they're both very comfortable playing the slot and they're both big enough and they have got enough reps to be able to play on the outside as well but being able to use this pure raw speed to be able to push up and across the field and gain separation because Traylon burks he has a nice burst but he doesn't have the top end speed that aj brown has and we didn't really see too many plays like this again press man and this is at the the NFL level and at the college level we didn't even get to see this from Traylon Burks but AJ Brown this is what the Titans love so much about them and they're probably going to miss this if they don't bring in a piece that can do this and when we said Traylon Burks wasn't the most fluid or quick as getting in and out of his cuts 90 degrees, A.J. Brown was very good at this. So just having a guy, it's a first and 10, you see man coverage, just being able to count on him to win a route like this where you can take an inside release and when you get past the sticks, just snap it off, create a ton of separation, makes it a very easy throw for Ryan Tannehill. And maybe Traylon Burks may not create as much separation, but uses big mitts to bring it in. But this is just so easy. This is a practice throw on air for Ryan Tannehill. And this is something that A.J. Brown brought to this Titans team. But now let's look at where they're very similar. And these are the certain traits that I think that Tennessee was looking for in a replacement to run what AJ Brown did in their offense. So right here, we have a fourth and two. We have AJ Brown in the slot. And with fourth and two, and you have a guy like Derrick Henry, you are probably gonna leave the middle of the field open as you're gonna be bringing your linebackers in. So you have to capitalize on winning this matchup. And Ryan Tannehill is counting on this. He knows the pressure is gonna get there quick, but being able to count on him to win this matchup and pick up this crucial first down. And Traylon Burks was able to do this when we have no middle of the field help, whether linebacker or safety. Here Traylon Burks is, can you win this matchup and get a first down conversion? And when watching his Arkansas games back, the answer was a resounding yes. And the next thing we're going to look at, Ryan Tannehill loves throwing the ball over the middle of the field. That's probably what he's best at. And here we have it. And you're going to have to do it in all sorts of coverages. So when we're looking at A.J. Brown, if you have a corner draped all over you, are you able to be shorthanded? If there's dropping linebackers, are you able to fit it in, see through all the chaos in front of you and be shorthanded? Well, this is one of A.J. Brown's best traits. And this also happens to be one of Traylon Burke's best traits. This time ripping it off his back hip, being shorthanded over the middle. This time against the Cardinals, catching it over a safety with a corner draped all over him. Now we can look to Traylon Burks, seeing through it, through two Alabama defenders, being shorthanded over the middle. And in this next example, if even if you don't get all the separation you want, here he is at the top of your screen in the slot. Now, does he win this rep? Well, yes and no. He has position for Traylon Burks and AJ Brown. That's all they really need. Even if the DB can get a hand on it, they have big mitts, they're shorthanded, they're going to be able to bring this in. 
and I think this is the traits that they were looking for when they were looking to replace what they need in their offense. Now, let's put a bow on things and try and make a conclusion. When we talk about system quarterbacks, it always gets pinned as a negative, but they have the tools to run the offense the way it's intended, and it's a proven winning method. You could say Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, and Drew Brees are all system quarterbacks. And this is similar to how I view AJ Brown. I don't think he's as polished or a top tier receiver like Devontae Adams, DeAndre Hopkins, or Cooper Cup, who can be a number one target on a spread run and gun type team, but he had the traits to be highly successful in this Tennessee Titans offense. Now, this isn't a slight because AJ Brown is more than deserving of his contract and being a pro bowler and his traits are unique where I think a lot of receivers wouldn't have the success he did in this role. And I think he will have a lot of success, if not more, in this Eagles RPO and run heavy offense. And I don't think Traylon Burks is AJ Brown 2.0. I think they can both do what they're going to be asked to do at playing the inside and outside on the Titans offense, but I think AJ Brown is better at some things that we showed on the film, like route running and just pure separation and speed. But I think Traylon Burks can also do some things like be a legitimate 50-50 jump ball winner. And he's also slightly better at making people miss on the outside and in the open field, which I expect the Titans to take full advantage of, especially as a faster pseudo tight end in their play action game. They're similar, but to me, they're far from identical. My prediction is that he will have similar success to AJ Brown, although I will give the slight edge to AJ Brown because I believe getting in and out of breaks and creating more separation running across the field is more important of an X factor in terms of production than winning contested catches where I give the nod to Burks. I say this because contested catches is much more dependent on a great throw and maybe even a slight miscalculation by the DB and you can even throw weather factors in there. But I do think Traylon Burks can be the number one option on this team that will still run through Derrick Henry, who let me remind you before his injury was damn near doubling every single running back in terms of production, including Jonathan Taylor. We saw him in his last game and everyone's assuming that he isn't going to be the same, but I wouldn't put any eggs in that basket. I see a bright future for Traylon Burks and AJ Brown respectively because I think the Titans know who they need. They need a big physical receiver that can play on the inside and out, have a lot of success with yards after catch, and be sure handed over the middle of the field and have great concentration behind a lot of chaos in tight zone situation. But that's what I think about this situation. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure to like this video if you like videos like these. Make sure to comment down below what you think about Traylon Burks. And it always kind of gets misjudged when you go about directly comparing people as it seems a slight where it's obviously this guy's a lot better. I think Traylon Burks is going to have a ton of success in Tennessee, but I don't think he's AJ Brown 2.0. They have a lot of similar traits and I know Tennessee knows what they're looking for, but they do have some clear differences as well. But let me know in the comments what you think and make sure to subscribe if you enjoy daily sports content i appreciate all you guys the support thank you so much for checking out the channel and as always i will see you all tomorrow peace